Just kidding, you guys. It is Simply Asia, Asia Beige, whatever you may know me as. I'm back today with a faux puff tutorial. It's super easy, super quick. It took like five minutes, so it is way easy to do if you're like me and you're always late in the morning or you're always in a hurry, leaving for events late, whatever it may be. So let's just get right into it. All right, you guys, excuse my messy bed, but I'm out of the shower and I am just wearing a t-shirt for now just so I don't mess up my outfit I'm going to be taking this squirty bottle and I'm going to spray my hair just spray it all over anybody else hate doing this when they gotta do their hair I hate this you get water everywhere hole wherever you gotta be wet if you don't know, I'm wetting it with water so that it is easier to comb out, detangle, and just to add some moisture back into it. Colin Kaepernick, is that you? I'm catching up. I'm catching up, y'all. Your girl is coming back. My hair is combed out. I just like detangling it every time before I do it because it'll make my faux puff appear bigger plus it just it looks better to me i don't know why combing it out i know some people don't want to comb their curls out because it make it gives you that less defined look but i mean i don't really mind i like for it to look bigger over definition when it's in a puff now when it's down i'm all for definition trust me trust me trust i'm just going to take this argan oil this softy argan oil styling gel i excuse me i normally use the eco styler gel but i ran out and this was all that we have in my house so and this is from dollar tree y'all and it got no flaking no alcohol the whole nine and it smells really good i love gel that smells like this maybe it's just from when like getting my hair done when i was younger the way the gel smelled but y'all smell this smell it smell it we just take a virtual with and i basically just take i take a, a way bigger glob than this trust me a way bigger glob and i just gel up the perimeters of my hair and as you can see you already see the definition in my curls when i just do that you see it you see it I just love for a really sleek sort of look. I mean, I know it's like Im impossible with my hair to get that straight sleek look. Like it's, it, my hair does this, it waves up. It will not get like that super straight sleek. So my hopes for that are all gone, <laughs> but I love when it looks like that. I love it, love it, love it. Super clean, neat. I love, love, love. This is my trick out here for y'all that are still growing out your TWA. How to make it look like you have a puff. I go in with a lot of gel because my hair will not stay down for nothing. I will sit here and brush all this down, pull it back, and then Boop, 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 little pieces just start popping in I take this kind of like hard bristle brush very hard I love it because it pulls my hair back really good I don't know where this brush was bought um I kind of just found it in the drawer in my house like two years ago and I've been using it ever since let me just tell you what I did last night after I washed my hair. I put in leave-in conditioner, which was the, let me grab it for y'all, let me grab it. The Shea Moisture Low Porosity Leave-In Detangler Protein Free. If your hair has trouble absorbing moisture like mine, find low porosity products. Do not use products full of protein. That is the opposite of what you want to do. You want to use protein-free, low porosity products, and that will help so much. I noticed such a difference using this line by Shea Moisture. 
I was kind of skeptical because I'm like, whatever, it's not going to work. But I read the reviews and it is amazing. It works so well and it has teach. It has spearmint extract and then tea tree oils. So I don't know about you guys, but it feels so good with tea tree oil when you're washing and conditioning. It feels great. I take this soft bristle brush, soft bristle, and I just brush it all back for the key ingredient. This is really ratchet, <laughs> really ratchet, but you can use whatever works for you or whichever is fine for you. This is just what I had on me and was very convenient and what I used the last time I grew my hair out. You take a shoestring. I found this black one. You don't want it to be too, too long. It's just really thin and it's black. And you go around, you could go up you could go on top or you could go around it doesn't matter it just it depend. that'll if you do it this way your shoot the shoestrings like the little aglets on the end will be in the back so no one could really see them but I mean either way you can't really see it doesn't really matter I don't really care if people see it whatever so I just take it and sorry it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because it's blending in my hair but you take it and you tie it like that just once around and then you start tightening it you just start pulling pulling and as you can see the gel is coming up out of my hair but that's all right and there you have it then you just tie it in the back in a knot and voila you have a pop in faux puff popping look how you got heck of hair girl <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it was as easy as it is for me for you very 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 easy and it's just something you could just pull up really fast you know you don't have to do too much and you still look cute and popping <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much bye